Hello friends, welcome to my Supreme Kitchen. Today I'm going to prepare a very interesting and easy recipe that is mutter mushroom which children as well as adults enjoy eating. So let's get started. For mutter mushrooms, I'm using button mushrooms. Don't wash the mushrooms because mushrooms are full of water and if you wash it, it will start releasing water. So better take a clean napkin and wipe it thoroughly to remove any dust particles on it. As you can see, I have already cut the mushrooms into small pieces. Now I'm going to prepare the masala. For the masala, what I need is tomatoes. These are three small tomatoes and two big onions. I'm going to grind it into fine paste. While I grind the tomato and tomatoes and onions, I'm going to add some garam masala. I have added cinnamon sticks, two small cinnamon sticks and two cardamoms. And with it, I have also added four cloves. There are three, so three cloves. That is enough. Our tomatoes and onion paste is ready. Now I have placed a kadhai on this gas. Now I'm going to first add oil. You can use any oil of your liking. Three to four big spoons of oil. Now when the oil is heating up, it's already, yes, it's at the right temperature. Now first of all, I'm going to add a one a whole onion chopped into small pieces. And two to three green chilies also let the onions turn into pinkish translucent color as you can see now that the onions have turned pinkish and translucent color now now I'm going to add one whole big spoon of garlic and ginger paste. Stir it for a while. Now, I am going to add this, the tomato and onion paste into it. Now I'm going to add turmeric powder, red chilli powder and half, half a spoon of garam masala powder. <coughs> Sorry. Stir it till the oil starts separating. As you can see now, the oil has started separating. I'm going to add this green peas, which is frozen actually. You can mm, use fresh um, peas if it is available. Now I don't have at home right now, so I have this frozen peas. I'm going to add the frozen peas, green peas into the masala. Stir it for a while. So now is the time when I'm going to add the mushrooms to it. Flip the masalas, all the gravy and stir it for a few more minutes. already for five minutes I have let all the masalas to get into the mushrooms and already you can see that it's half boiled the mushrooms as it takes less time so now at this time I'm you know I'm going to add water 
add one uh, one cup of water to it little more for the gravy look at the color now i'm going to add salt again it is optional as much not it's, it's not optional as uh, according to your taste and desire and with it i'm going to add little bit of sugar little sugar into it it's optional sugar is optional and half a spoon of again masala powder now i'm going to put the lid on it and let it boil for 10 minutes initially you have to put it in on high flame then you have to let it simmer for 5 more minutes let's check it oh wow it's all ready mushrooms uh, you know they don't take much of your time time to get cooked so our mushroom curry is mushroom butter mushroom is ready now what i am going to do is i have to add into it cream fresh cream now give a stir i don't want my cream to be wasted so i have Use the same spoon. And this is ready. Switch it off. Let's serve it. Okay. Yes. Of course, you have to garnish it with uh, fresh coriander leaves, which I don't have right now. So sorry for that. You can have your mushroom curry with chapatis or rice. That's up to you. So right now today I'm going to have it with rice as that's my favorite. So first of all, rice. Yes. Such a healthy platter. Mushrooms are very healthy for us. And now Oh ho 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 you can see the rich color so tempting you can have some cucumber slices if you want you can have some pickles but this is enough So your healthy mushroom, butter mushroom curry and rice. Your platter is ready. Enjoy. The butter mushroom was so easy, isn't it? So do prepare at home and let me know how it turned up. And thank you for watching my video. Do like and subscribe my channel if you haven't yet done. And we will be coming with many more such. interesting healthy and easy recipes in future so from team my supreme kitchen thank you thank you for watching bye bye happy cooking